We are singing, tracking the talker, crisscross applesauce, hands in our lap, voices up. Thank you. Here's what we're doing in music today. Elementary Academy scholars will be able to move to music, discover our secret word of the day, sing and move to Old Brass Wagon, and then listen to and analyze music. Those are our goals for the day. So the first one is move to music, so everybody stand up. This will be pretty quick. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we learned a song called Down Down Baby. So I'm just going to go through it really quick, and we're going to see what we remember. If you forgot, that's okay. If you haven't watched those videos, make sure you go back and start from the beginning so that you're not missing important stuff. Every week, we kind of build upon things that we've already learned, so we don't want to miss out on stuff and get behind. Okay. Uh, so we did Down Down Baby, so let's just do a little platform hand tap. And we're just going to say the words. We're not going to do any actions. We're not going to sing the words. We're just going to tap it and say it. Here we go. Down, down. Oops, I'm even singing it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Down, down, baby. Down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet baby. I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. Shimmy, shimmy, round. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy, break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. There we go. Okay, so now we're just going to go straight through. We're going to sing it. We're going to do all the actions. We're going to see what we remember. If you forget something, that's okay. That means this is just something we're going to work on. But our goal is to have this be something that we can pull out and do any day that we start music. So it might be a day where it's like, okay, it's Tuesday. Today we're doing Down Down Baby. Then it's Wednesday. Today we're going to do a Warrior Cry. Then the next day we're going to move to music with our dancing scarves. And the next day we're going to do rhythm exercises, which we're going to do in a few weeks. Uh, okay, so we're going to go straight through Down Down Baby. Do your best. If you make a mistake, make a big. Action, singing, everything. Here we go. Down, down. down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet, baby, I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy, round. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy, break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. Okay, have a seat. There we go. Every time we do it, we think we get a little bit better and better. Okay, let's do our secret word of the day. We're gonna try to do this pretty quick. We're only gonna do secret word of the day for the next couple weeks. Then we're switching gears and learning about something brand new. So to start off, I'm gonna draw my staff, which has five lines. And four spaces, and since we're in elementary academy, draw that treble clef at the beginning to show we're in a higher voice. All right, my secret word of the day today has four letters. Three of them we have to figure out, one I'm going to give you for free. Here's my first letter, my first note. Let's start thinking of that on a line or in a space. Uh, my next one is here, a pie. Is that one on a line or in a space? Third one's here. And then the last letter is T. Letter T. All right, so let's look at it. First one, is it on a line or in a space? That one's on a line. I can tell it's on a line because the line goes straight through the head of that note. If it's on a line, a sentence is fine. If it's on a line, a sentence is fine. The sentence I like to use is every good burger deserves fries. Every good burger deserves fries. Every good burger deserves fries. What word did I say when I hit the head of that note? Burger. Burger starts with the letter B. So I'm going to call this first one B for burger. Next one, is it on a line or in a space? Got a hair in my face, baby. Uh, that one's in a space. I can tell it's in a space. And it's getting smushed between two lines. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. So I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to write the word face. F-A-C-E. 
F A C E F A C E. What letter lines up with the head of that note? E E. All right, let's look at the next one. The last one we gotta do. Is it on a line or in a space? It's getting smushed between two lines. That means it must be inside a space. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. I already wrote the letters here. What letter lines up with the head of that note? A, A, A. All right, so that gives us our word. T's at the end, I give you that for free. There's no T in the musical alphabet. If I remember back from a couple weeks ago, I said that the musical alphabet goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If it comes after G in the alphabet, we don't use it in music, at least not for this. Uh, okay, so I know, because I work with second grade a lot, this is one of the sounds that we are working on. E, A, team, E, E, A, team, E. So keep that in mind as you sound out the word. B, eat, B, eat, beat, beat. I think of this like a steady beat, a steady beat. All right, that's our secret word of the day. Hopefully it's getting a little faster for you. Uh, I'm gonna need my whiteboard again in a few minutes, so I'm just gonna set it off to the side. So if you have a whiteboard, make sure you have it handy nearby within a three second reach is what Ms. Jones and Ms. Daly often say I hear during the day. The next thing we're going to do is sing a song called Old Brass Wagon. And we're gonna sing this song a cappella, a cappella. A cappella means that we're gonna sing it without guitar, without piano. We're just gonna use our voices. The only thing we're gonna add in is a little bit of body percussion as we do it to accompany us. Okay, so here's how the song goes. Sounds like this. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. If you can sing that, you can sing the whole song, okay? Uh, so repeat after me. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Your turn. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. My turn. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Your turn. Circle to the left, brass wagon. My turn. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Your turn. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. My turn. You're the one, my darling. Your turn. You're the one, my darling. Okay, let's put it all together. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Okay, so this is my left hand, but I do believe that this would be your left hand. So as we sing that part of the song, we're gonna trace a circle in the air. So put your hands up. And we're gonna try to make our circle go with the beat. Here we go. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Then we switch and we're gonna sing, instead of circle to the left, we're gonna sing circle to the right. But other than that, it's exactly the same. Here we go. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different verses you can sing. Uh, if you're with someone, you could say, Bow to your partner, the old brass wagon. Bow to your partner, the old brass wagon. Bow to your partner, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. You could say, Tap a steady beat, the old brass wagon. You could say, um, Tap you on your head, the old brass wagon. You can kind of do whatever you want. Um, and maybe that's a game that you can play with if you have maybe older, younger siblings. You could try to sing this song along and come up with something new. But for us today, we're just going to do circle to the left, and then circle to the right, and then we're done. So let's do that, and then we're going to add in some different body percussion. Here we go. To the left, to the left, here we go. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Cool. Okay, so to get us ready for something that's coming up, I want to show us and have us start to feel the difference between the beat of the song the beat, like our secret word of the day, and the rhythm of the song. So that's our goal, kind of our goals of the day. Okay, so we're gonna start by the beat. Copy me. Two finger tap. Sing the same song, left and right. 
and just tap the steady beat. Two finger tap on your hand. Ready? Here we go. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Pause there. Okay, now I want you to decide some other kind of body percussion. You could tap your shoulders, you could tap your nose, alternate back and forth, you could tap your head, you could tap your knees, whatever you want to do. Um, but I want you to tap the steady beat using some kind of body percussion. Okay, if your body percussion makes noise, great. If your body percussion is pretty quiet, that's great too. I'm going to do this, whatever you want to do. Tap, tap, here we go. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. All right, so that's the beat, the steady beat. Steady beats always stay the same. They don't speed up, they don't slow down, they don't get faster or slower. They always stay the same. You pretty much always know what's gonna happen next because they don't change. That's a steady beat. Now we're gonna do the rhythm. The rhythm is what, in this case, what we do when we sing. So before, I was doing a steady beat like this. Now I'm gonna do the rhythm. It sounds different, it sounds like this. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. So my hands match what my voice was doing. So let's try that with a two finger tap. Here we go. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. That was the rhythm of the song. So now choose your body percussion. Tap your knees, tap your shoulders, tap your head, alternate tapping your nose. We're gonna tap the rhythm this time. I'm gonna tap my head, here we go. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. Circle to the right, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Ooh, my head hurts now. Okay, so that is the difference between beat and rhythm. And the reason we're talking about that today is because in a couple weeks we're gonna start talking about rhythms. Uh, every day when we do our secret word of the day, that's called pitch. Next, we're going to be talking about rhythms, which is patterns in music. Okay, we're moving on to our last thing. So for this, we're going to need something to write with and something to write on. So I have my whiteboard here. I'm just going to grab another color. And here's what I'd like you to do. Um, usually when we analyze and listen to music, I'll ask you questions like, is it fast or slow? Is it loud or soft? What is the tempo? Uh, what instruments do you hear? Today we're gonna to do something different. We're gonna talk about the impact of the music on us. So on your paper, on your whiteboard, whatever you have, I want you to draw a circle, and then next to that, like a big rectangle or a square. You need enough space to draw inside these, so make them pretty big. Okay, so that's what I got. I'm gonna play for you a song and I'm on purpose not gonna tell you the name of the song yet. I will tell you the name of the song at the end. So um, as we listen to the song, you have to answer two things. The first thing is, how does this music make you feel? So you can pretend one of two things. You can pretend that this is your head and you're gonna draw your own face. You can draw hair, you can draw eyes, draw a smile or a frown or a grumpy face. How does the music make you feel? Or you can pretend that this is an emoji and you can draw the emoji that would match your face, okay? Match your emotion. How does the music make you feel? So above that, I get my marker cap off. I'm gonna, just gonna write the word feel so that you remember for now. How does the music make you feel as you listen to it? Um, does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel sad? Does it make you feel scared? Does it make you feel grouchy? Does it make you feel angry? Does it make you feel joyful? Does it make you feel tired? I don't know. You're going to draw yourself or draw an emoji showing that. 
in the box next to it, I want you to draw what it makes you think about. Um, so maybe it makes you think about the grown-up that you live with. Maybe it makes you think about playing with uh, your friends. Maybe it makes you think of a sport. Maybe it makes you think of dinosaurs. Maybe it makes you think of your pet or spaghetti or I don't know. But whatever the music makes you think about, I want you to just draw a quick sketch of that picture or in that box, okay? This is the musical impact, how it affects us. How does it make you feel and what does it make you think about? Now, I'm not in class to see this. Usually I would have you draw this and I would have you turn it into me and collect it. We might display it up on the walls of the music room. Um, today, if you want to, you can take a picture of it when you're done and send it to me. Um, I would love to see what some of my elementary scholars are thinking as they listen to this song. I will tell you this song was written by Beethoven, a mus uh, famous composer and musician that we studied. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my whiteboard away from there as we do this, so you can't see what I draw. I don't want to affect or influence what you draw. But I want you to draw what do you feel and what do you think about while we listen to the music, okay? So here we go. So for a couple minutes, you're just gonna be seeing my face as I'm doing mine over here. If the music is hard for you to listen, you can't hear it because it's too quiet, I'll put a link to it down in the description below and you can click on it that way too. Here we go, this song by Beethoven. three minutes of the song. Okay, so how did that music make you feel? What does that music make you think about? That's the musical impact that it has on you. 
Um, I'll tell you now that the song is from Pastoral Symphony Number no. 6. Pastoral is a word that means um, out in nature, out in the fields. Um, and the song is called Storm or Thunderstorm. So that's what Beethoven was trying to capture in his music when he was writing that song. So you might have answers that are completely different for me, but whenever I hear this music, it makes me feel kind of scared. There's my scared emoji face. But whenever I hear this music, it makes me think of a horse running through a thunderstorm. Um, he almost got struck by lightning, but he's looking pretty scared. So that's just what I think about whenever I hear Beethoven's song, Thunderstorm. If you uh, want to send this to me, you can maybe ask the grown-up at your house if you can borrow their phone and take a quick picture of it. And I'm going to write my email address here on my whiteboard as neatly as I can. I might have to go to a second line. It is melissaisles at prodeoacademy.org. All one, not on a separate line. melissaisles at prodeoacademy.org. I don't think my email address is up on the website yet. That's why I'm writing it here. So if you need to pause and check that out as you're sending it to me, um, I would love to see some of the things that the Elementary Academy scholars are thinking as we listen to some of this, this cool song by Beethoven. So you can pause the video and write that down and send it to me. Okay, bye bye horsey. All right, the last thing we have to do today is to do our train exit. So breathe with me, Elementary Academy, here we go. Thank you for making music and listening to music with me. I hope you have a magical musical day and I'll see you next week.